Here, my name is Asim, and today we're going to show you sample imaging by using our scanning electron microscope. So here we have the Hikachi S4700 field emission scanning electron microscope. Scanning electron microscope uses electrons as the probe to image the sample instead of the light material optical microscope. The advantage of using this type of systems is that it can produce a magnification higher than 500 times than that of a typical optical microscope can do. And this type of systems can image a range of materials from metals, insulators, semiconductors, as well as biological samples. So here we have a thin solid film of a light absorbing material called poroskite prepared by the spin coating process in our lab. And today we're going to show you the, the surface of this sample by the scanning electron microscope. So here we have Mr. Novi who will help us with this sample imaging process. So here we can see the surface of the film, its morphology. We can also see the individual grains as well and their, and their distribution. We can also see some white spots in the film which are most likely due to the unreacted or the unwanted materials on the surface of the film. So this image right here is a, is a magnified version of the sample which has a magnification of 30K. Here you can see much clear images of poroskite semiconductor flame prepared with various amount of an additive called PAI where you see variations in the grain size and smooth morphology of the flames with various amounts of the additive. These SEM micrographs show the surface of the copper metal electroplated on top of a carbon fiber at different electroplating times. Here you can see the variations in the coverage of the carbon fiber by the copper metal. These SM micrographs are of biological samples. On the left is the lysine products for cattle feed showing surface structures. On the right you can see the SM micrographs of the vascular tissue of a stem of a sunflower plant showing their growth stage. Scanning electron microscope is also equipped with a measurement called energy dispersive x-ray spectroscopy which can provide information on type of elements present in a sample. Hence, it is very fruitful for device failure analysis when you are looking into the elemental impurities in a product. Here, you can see the distribution of different elements such as lead, cesium, iodide, tin in a poroskite flame identified by the different color codes. Similarly, here you can see the distribution of elements such as carbon, oxygen, fluorine, phosphorus, and tin in a tin fluoride modified lithium metal foil for battery application.